Hello Arrows fans, I'm Stacey Salvi here with a postseason edition of Arrows Update. That's right, the Eastern League playoffs begin Wednesday after the Arrows ended the regular season as the best team in the Eastern League, finishing with a record of 82 and 59. The Arrows got to the top of the standings on April 17th and they never looked back. The Arrows stayed around eight games ahead of several second place contenders throughout the summer. But after the Indians made some moves and the Arrows lost two solid pitchers, Stephen Wright and Jose De La Torre, the Arrows still played first place baseball, but slowed their winning pace. The Arrows ended the season going 19-17, and 17, going back to the beginning of August. Second place Bowie gained some ground by finishing out 24-11, and 11, narrowing the Arrows' lead by five games and ending the season strong. Over in the Eastern League East, the Yankees affiliate the Trenton Thunder ended the season in first place, and in August they briefly shared the best record in all of the Eastern League with the Arrows. They'll be taking on the Reading Phillies, who fought their way past the New Britain Rockcats for the second playoff spot in the East. The Phillies will be going into the series with League Rookie of the Year and MVP Darren Ruff, who hit 38 home runs to lead the league and ended up second in the batting race with a 317 average. Last year's Eastern League champs, the New Hampshire Fisher Cats, fell all the way to the bottom of the standings and had the second worst record in the league behind the Erie Seawolves in the West. The Arrows will kick off the playoffs Wednesday in Bowie to start a best of five series against the Bay Sox, the Baltimore Orioles affiliate. So far this season, the Arrows have handled the Bay Sox, winning every series and sporting a 13-6 record against Bowie. Though the Arrows have home field advantage and the best home record in the Eastern League, they might not mind starting off in Bowie where they went 6-3 this year. The last time the Arrows faced the Bay Sox was July 26th through the 29th here in Akron, where the Arrows split the four-game series. Since then, the Orioles called up one of the biggest threats in the Bay Sox lineup, Manny Machado. But on our side, the Indians have called up Thomas Neal, who is probably the most productive and one of the most consistent hitters in the Arrows lineup this season. But they say pitching wins championships, and if that's the case, the Arrows are looking good. Akron had the lowest earned run average in all of AA, finishing the season with a 303 ERA, which also gets a franchise record. The next closest team in the EL was Richmond, averaging almost a half run more per nine innings. The playoff excitement comes to Akron Friday after the first two games of Bowie. First pitch is 7.05 and it'll be a bonus fireworks night, so you have a chance to come and check out one last show by the folks at Pyrotechnica. Hopefully the Arrows will have swept the Bay Sox after Friday, but if not, there will be two more 7.05 games Saturday and Sunday if necessary, so come check it out. The Arrows have played well all year and taken care of Bowie all summer, but Bowie has finished the season on a roll. Will the Arrows pitching continue to dominate over the next two weeks? And will the lineup continue its timely hitting to bring a fourth Eastern League championship to Akron? Come down to Canal Park to find out. Get your tickets online at akronarrows.com or call 330-253-5153. We'll see you there.